Ah, uh, we... This is going to be the video where I finally discuss what has happened with Ali Superboy here. This is part two of the Suicide Squad team up story. I want to start by saying that in part one, I proclaimed that the song Superboy and Supergirl was the best song ever recorded. But I have realised I was speaking out of place because it does not compare to Macho Man by the village people. I say this without a in of ironic intent. Macho Man by the village people fucking slaps it is brilliant people have forgotten how brilliant it is they just remember the chorus which is the worst part the rest of the song is fucking unreal i truly honestly believe that the verses of macho man they are close to the peak of what music can achieve. Our story is that Superboy and the Suicide Squad, they are cracking down on the Hawaiian Japanese Mafia, and so they have attempted to sneak into their underwater headquarters, but their presence was detected and they were greeted with a bunch of goons to fight. The red shirt, sidearm, he gets shot in the second panel. He gets shot by the Hawaiian Japanese Mafia. And even Boomerang points out that it is the fastest any teammate has died on the squad. Which isn't a true fact. And Sidearm isn't dead yet anyway. We also have Knockabout. And she is one foxy lady. Amazing woman. Give her a series. One of the agents of the Hawaiian Japanese Mafia is this guy. Who Superboy fought in one of his first appearances in... Adventurers of Superman. Superboy and the Suicide Squad, they opt to retreat and try to get behind some blast doors. But Boomerang gets there first and tries to lock them out to save his own skin. But they get in and then Deathshot gets to do a 360 no scope on some Montas. Then the squad start arguing and fighting each other, and Superboy has to corral them and act as a team leader. The other member of the team, Tiger Shark, he immediately seemed to attack special fbi special agent special and the assumption was that he wanted revenge and he was going to eat them but tiger shark he actually seems to be following orders and trying to complete the mission the two of them double back and renew their attack and then Sidearm shows up, still alive. But then, Tiger Shark kills him. In a sense, Sidearm had two death scenes in this issue. He was shot immediately, and then this. In a way, he died twice in the issue. And I didn't think many other Suicide Squad members can claim that. The leader of the Hawaiian Japanese Mafia is a sexy woman with green lips. 
So I am on board with uh, racketeering and illegal dealings. Give her series two. Superboy and the others, they sneak around the base. And we have the temporary threat of drowning. But Superboy and Knockabout are very quick to go and try and unlock a hatch at the top to escape. But it's not easy. And Superboy has to use his tactile telekinesis to try and gently pry it open. It is a race against the drowning clock. As Superboy has to focus on using his powers to delicately crack this open. This apparently takes five minutes. They were all underwater for five minutes. And that is pushing it for me. People can go that long if they are lucky. But for most people they would get brain damage at four minutes if they didn't just drown. Superboy and Knockabout are fine, but I didn't buy that both Boomerang and Deathshot lasted five minutes without oxygen, and they are totally fine. I can barely last a minute holding my breath. If anyone is wanting to torture me for information, I would be really easy to crack with water torture. We finally get to see Hawaiian Japanese Mafia Madam Hydra's and she becomes a lot less sexy when they are not obscuring her face. Instead of beautiful facial scars like Madam Hydra's, she has a metal face plate which is not attractive. I have never dated a girl with a metal face plate. I think there is a possibility that one idea... There was meant to be a Red Erin thing maybe. And we were meant to think that Superboy's exotic love interest was secretly leading the Mafia. But there is now that clearly tries to lead you down that path. That is Superboy issue 14. Part 2 of Watery Grave. Quite a good cover too. Making good use of that negative space. I like this story and this series. We have got a good guest appearance from Suicide Squad. And all in all, great Villians on the team. Now that Sidon is dead twice. I will grant this a boon of seven thumbs up.